I'm officially a passport girl. I am done with the broke 50-50 men in America oh, really? that want to go 50-50, that want you to cook, clean, and be a slave. Mm. I'm officially a passport girl. I'm going overseas now to find my masculine husband who's oh. going to provide for me and pay all the bills. Mm. So, passport girl, official. Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD back with another video of you of course don't forget to like subscribe and share hit that bell while you are here so i'm doing another video review on passport sis how we love doing videos on passport sis because it's usually really interesting there's a lot of i told you so a lot of the it's not going to work out because we know that culturally it's not going to work out especially a lot of these women coming from the west how they are trying to take their west mentality and going to the east and a lot of these men, they are traditional. Also, they have more rights and they're able to do more things to, to women, and basically. So this is why we do these videos and to talk about and bring awareness to what is going on, as well as, you know, we kind of, you know, laugh at that as well, some of the things that do happen. So, but <laughs> let's just go ahead and jump into the videos and see what up. All right, so here's the first one. This is, uh, of course, you know how the passport sis do when they go to Jamaica. They go out there, they have, have themselves a good time. Uh, you know, they be fornicating or out there, you know, stroking the bamboo stick and so forth. So, but let's go ahead and check this out. We got this young, well, I would say young, but this grandmother here enjoying the raft, the, uh, the massage, the mud massage. And we all know what goes on during these massages. We have videos documented of, of them getting, you know, catching the, bam the bamboo stick and everything and having a good time. You know, I played that video before, but it's too explicit for YouTube. So, but nonetheless, let's go check this out. This is life, people. I'm living my life. I work very hard in America. <laughs> and look old. at my young guy, too. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Rub down on the coochie area, sir. Let, let's Ooh. see you rubbing down there. <laughs> check that out. She's asking him to get in that whole area. Man, you know what she's trying to get started. We already know what's up. This is where they go to have their fun. You know, but of course we know that these women or these women in general will talk about passport bros or men that travel. But you see what goes on in Jamaica. <laughs> uh, you know, get down there. Get right down there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Try and get him to touch it. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. You enjoy and rub it down, Grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, see, you're not your grandma. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for a lot of those brothers out there. A lot of them are trying to feed their family, and they're taking, they're being taken advantage of. They're being exploited. Especially with these old women and these linebackers that are out there going out there. Oh my God. A lot of them have to take one for the team so they can make money, so they can have something to eat that same day or even the next day, which is so sad. And we see them going down there by the boat though. A lot of these, you know, the linebackers, <laughs> women that are getting what they want, paying for it. They're paying for the bamboo <laughs> out there in Jamaica, which is wild. It's funny. Women will go down there and pay for the bamboo stick, but then they are online yelling they will not go 50-50. Come on, man. You can't make this up. But yo, let's go move on to the next video. So we got this sister here. She's had, she has recruited herself to be a passport sis. Let's listen to what she got to say. So guys, I'm officially a passport girl. I am done with the broke 50-50 men in America oh, really? that want to go 50-50, that want you to cook, clean, and be a slave. Mm. I'm officially a passport girl. I'm going overseas now to find my masculine husband who's oh. going to provide for me and pay all the bills. Mm. So passport girl, official. We are now a passport girl. We're leaving the 50-50 dusty men oh. behind in America. We're going to go overseas to find ourselves a rich billionaire who doesn't believe in 50 50 who just wants to take care of the lady that he is with yo the percentage of millionaires and billionaires outside the united states is slim to none and you think that they are going to want to deal with a combat um, com combative 
westernized women who thinks that she's gonna sit down like a princess and not do anything when in these countries most of the women are feminine and they do their duties and they know what's up what to do cook three meals a day and so forth take care of the family so you think that a millionaire billionaire outside the united states is going to put up with that the delusion is wild this is crazy it's funny to even hear her even talk about that and then let's say for example when she does find one let's say go to dubai and then you see what happens how they get controlled and how they don't like being controlled well hey this is what you wanted and of course they don't understand that once you go to a whole nother country the laws are different you're not protected by western society united states with their laws against women so let's go ahead and move on to the next video and let's talk about what can happen so i found this video online and this is a woman giving her basically what happened her story what happened when she got up with a man in dubai she married him and so forth let's go through everything this is tori Tawi. she is 28 she's from ireland and until recently was a flight attendant for emirates she lived in dubai with her new husband mm. outwardly her life seemed happy but she says she was being physically and emotionally abused by her partner, oh. allegations that he has denied. Ms. Towie attempted to take her own life and was promptly arrested. This is her first TV interview since those charges were withdrawn. She described what she says was her experience in her marriage. Just a lot of control issues. Obviously, in the beginning, I didn't see anything like that. It was when we moved in together. In the beginning, she didn't see that because he was throwing out that money at her. So all she saw was money. She saw the fact that she didn't have to be a flight attendant anymore, that she didn't have to fly around and service people. Now she can sit at home and basically be pampered what she was thinking. But here's when things get ugly. Um, I was cut off from my friends, mm. my family. Mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed to be on my phone. So I was kind of cut off from play that. the rest of the world. So and that is where they could actually backhand a woman for basically disobeying his uh, his commandments, whatever his, his commands and so forth. So, yo, y'all y'all women, y'all be looking for those billionaires, millionaires where they basically like Dubai and those men don't play. So then a lot of arguments, sure. um, from your which led to physical abuse yep. and just emotional and mental abuse. So it was, it was really, really tough. And it got so hard for you that actually you got to the point where you wanted to end it all. Yeah, it, because I just couldn't see a way out. Nothing was getting better. It, it wasn't ending. So I just at one point, I just thought there is no way out. I, I can't leave. I can't, I can't do anything. I'm stuck. And after that, you came round and you mm -hmm. were, as I understand it, you were being given oxygen. Yeah. And presumably you thought you would be taken for some medical attention at that point. Yeah. No, I, I woke up and they had, they were giving me oxygen mm -hmm. and I was in my pyjamas so they got one of my dresses and they told me to put it on. And then I was brought straight to police station. Look at that. You see how you get treated? This is how you get treated outside of Western Lions culture, outside of the West. And, and you guys think that it's better out there. Tell you, Passport says y'all better staying in your sheltered society in the United States or, you know, England or whatever you could think of Ireland because it's different. What you grew up to is not what it is in these other countries. Um, From your home to the police station? Directly to the police station, mm -hmm. yeah. I was put in a room. The police were speaking amongst them, themselves in Arabic, so I didn't understand anything that was going on. Um, I wasn't told what I, why I was there or what I was being charged with. Um, at this point, I didn't know that I was going to be charged with anything. And then I was just brought straight up to the, the jail cell that was in the police station. Mm. Um, and there were other women in there? Yeah, there was maybe about 50 women in there. 50? Yeah. Right. Um, so it's like a narrow corridor with individual cells beside the corridor. Right. And it's just full of mattresses on the floor. And there's some girls sitting there. 
And when I went in, I sat down, I began to speak with some of them, and some of them were there for seven months, ten months, for mm. very minor things. Didn't know how I was going to contact anyone, mm. so it was, it was really terrifying. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. Passport sis, I'm telling y'all. Y'all think it's fun and games until y'all leave them borders, the westernized culture borders, and yo, that's when it gets real. <laughs> this is some stuff y'all ain't even used to. But hey, you know, they always like to say, you know, passport bros, y'all need to be careful and this and that. No, I think passport sis need to be careful more than anything because they're the ones the laws are against them for from them doing anything, <laughs> even screaming in Dubai. They go straight to jail. So, but nonetheless, this is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'm out.